Dry, itchy skin is a problem for a lot of pets and their owners. Uh, obviously, it's uncomfortable for your pet, but it can also be really annoying to have a dog that's constantly scratching or chewing on themselves. If you let dry, itchy skin get out of control, it can lead to open sores and wounds that can get infected, and it can become a much larger problem. One of the easiest ways to treat dry, itchy skin is through the diet. There are certain uh, nutrients that you can add to your dog's food to uh, provide nourishment to help the skin and coat stay moisturized and healthy. Um, and this is a homemade recipe that I use, um, as particularly in the winter months. Our dogs don't really have a problem with dry, itchy skin year round, but because we live in Maine and the air is so dry in the winter time, uh, quite often they can have some skin problems. So uh, this is a homemade recipe that I use with my pets and I hope your dog likes it too. The first step to this homemade dog food for itchy skin is to melt two tablespoons of coconut oil. I always use organic coconut oil uh, in a skillet on medium heat. Coconut oil is a uh, extremely beneficial for skin and coat health. It helps to moisturize the skin and um, dog's skin actually produces oils that the skin needs to stay moisturized and keep the coat healthy and coconut oil helps it do that. So um, you melt your two tablespoons of coconut oil and add two pounds of ground turkey to the skillet and then you're just going to uh, brown the ground turkey before you add the extra ingredients. My turkey has thoroughly cooked, so now I'm going to add two cups of water. Um, also, I didn't drain the turkey. As you can see, all the um, coconut oil and the grease from the turkey were still in there. So uh, without draining the turkey, add in two cups of water, a medium-sized carrot, and you wanna slice it into appropriate sized pieces for your dog, a large sweet potato, and again, cut it into appropriately sized pieces for your dog. This is for um, our 35-pound beagle mix and our 70-pound Labrador, so obviously bigger pieces are gonna be uh, fine for them. Then you want to uh, cover, let it come to a boil, turn it down on low heat, and let it simmer for 20 minutes. My itchy skin dog food has been simmering for 20 minutes. So now I'm gonna add my final ingredient, which is a half a cup of frozen peas. And I am just gonna shut the heat off and stir all of this around. My sweet potatoes and carrots are tender and you can see that there's a little bit of uh, liquid in here just to help your dog di digest it a little bit easier. And of course, uh, we needed it to soften the vegetables. So now I, what I'm gonna do is I've shut the heat off. I'm just gonna cover this back up and allow it to sit until it cools. The heat from the dog food is going to thaw the peas and warm those up. Um, and once it's cooled, you can feed it to your dog. I recommend feeding about a half a cup for every 25, 20 to 25 pounds of body weight. Um, that is gonna vary depending on your dog's nutritional needs, of course. More active dogs need more calories while lazier breeds may not need as much. Um, and that recommendation is per serving with two servings per day. So if you have a 20 pound dog, let's say that's uh, fairly active, you can feed about a half a cup in the morning and a half a cup at night. I hope your dog enjoys this recipe. Thanks for tuning in.